Hey there everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about uh, basically a gym website. So if you are running a gym right on the offline market then you want to push yourself on the online market so that you can build your social presence then this is one of the best thing which you can uh, uh, take it for your making website right. So let me tell you if you want to uh, get this theme you can always get it from here and the best part about this theme is that uh, it has over 4500 sales which says that it is one of the popular theme out there right so let us see how the website looks right now you can always check the website appearance by clicking on live preview right it will redirect you to the official author website okay so whenever you get a uh, free time you can always check the whole documentation of the theme by coming to this website and you will come to know each and every section what a website exactly looks like right and in today's video we are going to make this website on our domain okay as you can see this is a very clean website minimalistic right so we will try to uh, uh, import the whole website on our domain okay for that uh, let's get started so first of all you need to buy this theme okay I'm assuming that you have bought the theme already I have saved the uh, theme file on my system so my next step will be to coming back to my domain where I want to install this particular theme uh, so here is my domain srmehranclub.com so basically this is a subdomain youtube.srmehranclub.com where I generally use to make my tutorial videos here okay so after coming to this domain you need to uh, log into the backend if you don't know how to log into your backend it's pretty simple you need to type wp admin just after a url name uh, your domain name so in this case my domain name is youtube.srmehranclub.com so if i want to log into the dashboard i have to type youtube.srmehranclub.com uh, hyphen wp admin so after clicking on that i will be redirected to my dashboard uh, generally if you are logging in for the first time it will ask you for the username and password which you have entered while you were installing wordpress on your hosting okay cool so you are here this is called the backend or dashboard of a website from this section you will be able to manage edit modify make changes anything like that of for your website right so let me give you a quick tour what we have on the left hand side under the setting hood you will find general setting reading writing setting discussion and all that so here you can enable and disable the section where uh, do you want people to comment or not so permalink is one of the important setting if you click on here and come to the post setting then you can always uh, always you have to check the post name because it's always good for SEO okay under the tool, tool section you will see import tool export tool site uh, site health you can check your site head as well under the user section you will be able to create multiple user and assign them different role or you can assign them different same role like if you want there to be two or more admins you can always create that okay if you want multiple authors on your website you can have it so coming back uh, coming to the plugin section basically plugin are some file with the help of which you will be able to add some kind of extra functionality on your website okay so coming to the appearance section under the appearance hood you will find theme customize option widget menu background so today we are going to deal with the appearance section themes and here we will try to add our new theme these are the default theme which has been provided by wordpress but we will add new theme and here you will see let it load you will see that by default wordpress provide you n numbers of free themes right but the thing is there are a lot of difference between free theme and paid theme i generally refer you to buy a paid theme if you have some little bit of amount to invest in the very initial stage so generally the difference between the paid and premium theme is that the uh, the free theme don't have that much amount of flexibility when it comes to uh, designing right their amount of uh, their what should i say their level of customization is very limited you you won't be able to customize header footer as per your own need right so i generally prefer if you have a small amount always invest that in buying a good theme so apart from that the conversion rate on the uh, free theme are pretty low because of their responsiveness over the mobile devices so i'm assuming you have your theme let's upload it select the file and if i'm not wrong here is the file i will select it and install now so once you click on install it will start uploading the file from your system to our server it might take couple of seconds let's wait for it if i'm not wrong it should be uploaded in couple of seconds 
so as you can see theme has been installed successfully let's activate the theme and as you can see it is it is asking us to install some plugin like wp page builder so basically a theme always suggests you to install some kind of recommended plugin because a theme consists of multiple functionality and each and every functionality totally depends upon some kind of plugin because that functionality is organized or managed by a plugin right so it's always recommended or suggested by me or everybody right so whenever your theme gives you notification or says you to install some kind of certain plugin never ignore those messages so you just need to install and activate it i have already installed it let me check okay here is the plugin activated so now we have to see what are the option which we are getting right now uh, let's check out our website how our website looks right now uh, coming to visit website and uh, there must not be anything if i'm not wrong okay this is a plain super simple website nothing no changes uh, so we have to make some changes right because we know we don't want simple website okay so go to the appearance section and theme option here we are going to import some demo content as you can see import demo content then we are going to import demo content click on this and wait for a couple of seconds and all the demo content will be imported on your website so generally i am assuming that it will import some pages on our uh, domain right here pages let's let's see how many pages has been imported as you can see 12 pages has been imported card a home page privacy policy and all that let's refresh the page and let's see how our website looks right now so if i'm not wrong everything is imported successfully the slider the section where you can uh, add new things okay according to me everything looks good if i scroll down the slider is also looking amazing here right if i click on a uh, timetable then it will show us a different page right this is the whole timetable schedule which you can manage by yourself right and if i go, go to classes section here is the classes uh, program if you want to see how much pay, price plan they are having for the gym you can always put it here or you can simultaneously go back to the dashboard and change each and every section from this pages like if you go to the timetable what's news page right this is the blog page if i'm not wrong here is the section where you can put your blog and if somebody wants to read about something he can come to the blog section and read it everything by coming here right and the best part about this theme is that it is also mobile responsive if i go to the timetable section and just try to check it out on the mobile device as you can see this is so much beautifully designed on uh, mobile devices the footer is looking really amazing and everything is perfectly aligned right so i hope you really get my point what i'm trying to explain here if you have a gym uh, in offline market and you want to push it on the online market i generally prefer you to get this theme uh, this will really help your business on a regular routine okay so that's all for this video i want to wrap this video up by saying if you really like this video just give it a big thumbs up and as always thanks for watching I'll catch you in the next one.